Hey plant gang, right here in front of me is typically, you know, a plant that we don't talk about unless it is early, early springtime. And that's Forsythia X intermedia, uh, border Forsythia or just Forsythia. Now really I should say Forsythia because it's named after a guy uh, with the last name Forsyth, uh, but typically we say Forsythia. Uh, now I like to show it sometimes in the fall, which is about October right now, it is October right now, uh, because a lot of the cultivars of Forsythia do get quite nice fall color, and a lot of people are familiar with the spring bloom of Forsythia. Of course, this plant will be completely covered in golden bell-shaped flowers in the early spring. It really is a harbinger of spring as we really uh, think about it as one of the plants that ushers spring in for us throughout the country. Very popular uh, plant that uh, you see growing on hill banks, on hillsides, grown in mass quite effectively, uh, but mostly just paid attention to in the springtime. But I want to bring uh, to the forefront this idea that, you know, Forsythia is not bad for fall color uh, and you can pick cultivars that are known to have a little bit better fall color. Uh, this is a plant that blooms on last season's growth. And so you want to be careful in the late part of the season not to cut Forsythia back because you'll actually be cutting off the blooms. And anytime you have an early spring flowering tree or shrub, uh, you want to be careful when you prune it because you could be pruning off uh, those blooms that you really want to enjoy, enjoy in the springtime. So come in, let's look a little bit closer at the leaves of this plant so we can learn how to identify it. Now a lot of the Forsythias that you're going to find on the market actually have hybrid parentage to them and this is, this is one of them. And so that is going to make it a little bit harder to identify because especially a lot of the newer cultivars may incorporate other species of Forsythia into them uh, that changes a little bit of what the leaf looks like. Uh, and that primarily happens with the outside edge or the leaf margin. Uh, our very typical Forsythia X intermedia has a fairly toothed edge to the, uh, the side of the leaf, but it also can be quite entire. One thing you're going to want to focus in on is oppositely arranged leaves. Uh, in the fall, you're going to find little kind of pointy buds on the edge of it, uh, the edge of or the base of those petioles of those leaves. Uh, and another thing that you can count on with Forsythia is squarish stems with hollow pith. So you're looking at it with uh, fall color going right now, but of course the leaves through the majority part of the season are green. This plant can get eight to 10 foot tall, spreading out 10 to 12 foot wide. Now there are other shorter, more compact cultivars now that have entered into the market over the last 10 years. It is a deciduous shrub. It's got a fountain-like habit, arching from the ground, can sucker a little bit. We'll continue to get a little bit bulkier. The way I handle this plant is that uh, after it blooms in the early spring, I will go in and I will cut out a few of the largest canes uh, that are in there to keep it kind of young and, and vibrant and very youthful uh, and growing very rapidly. Hardy from zone six through eight. So as you can see, again, the leaves are oppositely arranged off the stem. They're upswept. Uh, it has hollow pith, which means the center of the stem is hollow. Uh, leaves are typically green lanceolate. Here's a landscape tip. Blooms in early spring before leaves appear. Use on banks, in massings, or as part of the shrub border. Hey, uh, plant gang out here in the March sunshine, we got a little bit of an update on Forsythia X Intermedia. A little bit of a smaller cultivar here, uh, but beautifully in bloom. Uh, this Forsythia in bloom is telling me that the soil temperatures are warming up. Typically, uh, Forsythia is going to start to bloom when we've got uh, soil temperatures in the high 50s and the low 60s. And so uh, that usually comes with some consistent days of warm weather. Uh, and so here mid-March, Forsythia in bloom. Uh, this will soon turn into kind of a haystack uh, type shrub, a really nice one in particular for kind of the background of the landscape, uh, but very popular for this spring bloom.